In this video, I'll show you how to calculate present value using the compound interest formula. This is question one. Let's start off with a quick definition. Present value is calculated when you want to find out the principal amount P of a future value A you wish to invest. To do this, you must use the compound interest formula and solve for P. Right here is the compound interest formula, and this is our target, P. The question asks us, your friend would like to buy a new car two years from now. He intends to make a down payment of $10,000. Your friend can invest money in an account offering 9% per year, compounded monthly. How much money must your friend invest today to be able to reach his goal of $10,000? let us write down everything we know so far. We know that this person wants to buy in two years. And that relates to N, which is the number of compounding periods. We're also told that the interest will be compounded monthly. So to calculate our N, we have to use this chart. And since it is being compounded monthly, we have to multiply the number of years, which is 2, by 12. So 2 times 12 is equal to 24. And you don't need to memorize this chart. There are 12 months in a year, so just remember that you take the number of years and multiply it by 12. The next thing that we know is interest. And interest is at 9% compounded monthly. So once again, instead of multiplying this time by 12, we will divide by 12. And of course, our formula works with decimals, so I'm going to need to divide this by 100 as well. Let's use our calculator. 9 divided by 12 divided by 100 gives us 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3, which is equal to 0 0.0075. So we found our N value, we found our I value, now we need to assign the A value. And we know that the future amount of this car is going to be $10,000. So I'm going to write down A is equal to 10000 So let's find out how much this person has to invest right now inside of this bank account that offers this percentage of interest to obtain $10,000 two years from now to buy his dream car. So the formula was A is equal to P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N. Our A value was determined to be 10,000. The P is what we're looking for, 1 plus 0 0.0075 to the power of 24. We need to isolate for P, and to do this, we'll divide both sides by this expression. 1 plus 0 0.0075 to the power of 24. Now I said both sides, so you have to do it to this side as well. This part right here cancels out completely. And we're left with 10,000 divided by this expression. We can do this with our calculator. 10,000 divided by bracket 1 plus 0 0.0075 to the power of 24. Now keep in mind that if you do not have a calculator like this, you can calculate this out first and then power it to 24, write that number down on a piece of paper, then divide 10,000 from that. So our p-value is 8,358. So to conclude, your friend has to invest 8,358.31 today in this account in order to obtain $10,000 two years from now to purchase their car. So there you have it. That is how to calculate present value using the compound interest formula.